What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to this video uh, in which uh, we're doing the daily uh, Bitcoin update again or just a daily look at the market because every uh, everything is that correlated. Uh, last 24 hours it's up 5%. If we take a look at yesterday uh, or, or today, this morning, uh, we were at around 29,800. So we're up a little bit as you can see making some uh, bullish moves. Uh, so yeah, this will be a, a short update. Uh, I think yesterday I, I said that I was going to cover Bitcoin every every day, definitely if the market is this unstable. Um, again, and, and today, I mean, we're doing some interesting things because last couple of days were, were quite bullish. We touched this uh, 382 FIP, as you can see at 31K. And I actually do expect <clears throat> another bull move up until 33,000. So if we take a look at the, on, on the four hour time frame, what we have just done, and um, that's great. We haven't really confirmed it yet, but arguably we, we've broken above the 30K level. So what I expect now is that at least we'll get up to this 31,000 level again. But I also do expect that we'll be able to, to break above that, which means we're going up to uh, 32 uh, and, and 33,500. That's, that's the full level. So on the four hour, that might look like something like this. Maybe we will even uh, find some resistance there and then take another break retest and get up there. Um, but as of right now, I, I do expect uh, or I don't expect that we'll be able to break above that level. That level is quite strong, first of all. Second of all, I also still believe that, that we are in the be beginning of at least some sort of a bear market. Um, so what you tend to see after, these, after the beginning of these things, like we also saw last year in the short bear market, is that you will have big spikes up. Um, and I think that spike uh, for us will lead us up to this 33,000 level. But from there, I do expect that we'll drop down again within the next couple of days, maybe consolidate a little bit between 29,000 and 33,000. But uh, I have to be honest with this. I, I do expect within probably within the next week and a half, but like to, to reliably say that in the next two weeks, I also do expect that we'll drop down to well, at least under 29,000 again. So it's hard to say where exactly we will drop down to. It, it could also be that we drop down to like 27,000. There, there's a small key level right there here at, at 27,700. Uh, more likely though, I think we'll drop down to 26,000. So I do expect that on the short term, as I said, I, I think we can expect some bullish movements uh, or at least some spikes. But if, if you zoom out a little bit more, so to like not the long term, but the semi short term or the semi long term, I do expect that that will get a drop like that again. And I do think this level, this 26,000, 25,000 level will hold for uh, a longer period of time. So multiple weeks, but um, obviously it's going to be a tough climb back up again from that level to, to, back, uh, to get back up. Uh, over 30k and stuff again which i also do expect but that's a little bit too far in the future to accurately uh, predict and analyze right now so as i said i will be analyzing bitcoin and the whole market every day um so keep an eye out for that then i will i will definitely um, complement this uh, analysis with with that if i think i have a more clear view of what's going to happen um, but as for now this is my short-term analysis on bitcoin if you do have any questions about the analysis or about anything i said within the video please let me know down in the comments uh, and i'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible as for now though thank you all for watching and listening and i hope to see you all in my next videos bye